VBOT lets you brand the entire platform as your own by changing the domain logins, the branding colors, as well as the vanity links where we can track clicks and visits. I'm going to show you in the next few minutes how you can do that and properly configure this setup. The first thing you need to do is access your partner portal from the top right. You can see this option right here. This is where your menu as a partner where you have your white label button. There are three options. First is the domain. This is what you can share with your sub accounts and clients so they could log in and access their accounts. There is the branding for the colors and there is the tracking. By clicking on the go to domain, you have to have your own domain of course and you have to choose what subdomain to share with your customers. In this case, I have my own example, leadbuffer.com. It, of course, will be your own domain. And I've chosen portal. It doesn't have to be portal. It could be marketing. Uh, dot. It could be XYZ. It could be dashboard. This is totally up to you. Uh, I like portal. I like app. Some people even use www if it doesn't cause conflict with your main uh, domain URL. So it's totally up to you. All it takes is a CNAME record on your DNS and you should be pretty much set. If you don't know how to set up that DNS, you can reach out to the support team on VBOT or reach out to your domain administrator. It's literally one minute setup. Uh, and then you have to install the SSL. There's a button here that shows up. I already skipped that step. You can also change the logout URL. So when people click on the logout here, they'll be redirected to your URL of choice. This way you're hiding VBOT completely from the picture. So companies and your accounts are not going to see VBOT on the logins. All right. The second option is the branding. This is where you can change the colors, the logos. And all you have to do is just activate white label, choose the dashboard logo of your uh, preference. Here, I, I really like smaller icon like uh, logos anything with text which i'm going to show you now is going to get skewed around so it won't be too clear the login logo is what shows up right here so if you don't have that set up it's going to default to vbout or something else and you can definitely configure it by clicking on login logo and uploading your own image okay you can change the favicon you can change the colors of the top and left menu you can even customize this login right here. You see the background and the button. These could be changed. Okay, everybody has their own kind of color palettes. This lets you control that. Once I save, I'm gonna show you how the colors have changed and look at the logo right here. It doesn't look good. Recommended 100 by 100 icon with a clear background, of course. Now also my front end pages have changed. I have a different color and I have the button and what, one of the cool things that we support are the registration pages. So if you are sharing, you know, sign up pages with your customers, look how branded it is. Not only the URL, but now I have my own logo and I have my own color palette as well. Okay. This is the complete white label support that we provide. Back to the dashboard. There are two more options for your own uh, kind of control. One is the help which is that question mark. We did white label it as much as possible. However, there could be some traces in videos and snapshots. So if you don't like that, you can disable it. There's also the chat menu, a highly celebrated and used feature. You can disable it and use your own chat script. And look at the right side. There are some short codes to use. So if you have a script like intercom uh, or other that support variables like account IDs and emails, you can actually parse them over. VBOT gives you those variables. Now, as an agency admin, you, you will still have those options available and turned on on your account, but your sub accounts will not be seeing them. Okay, this is obviously to provide support to you at your account level. Now, finally, we have the vanity URLs. This requires a little bit of a technical setup. Of course, you turn it off first, and then you have the domain name. This is what you're gonna be using for tracking. I'm gonna show you what I mean. There is an HD access code that you need to install. If you don't know how to do this, please consult your web developer. Uh, this, is, this is a very sensitive setup. If you don't have it properly installed, 
your tracking URLs are not going to work and you can even mess up your site. So make sure you consult a professional for this and the team can always guide you via support. Now, once you've done the proper setup, you can click this check setup button and it tells you if there were any issues. So what do I mean by tracking links? I'll give you a quick example. If you are launching your own social media posts through Vbout and I'm just gonna pick a random URL. You notice how we have vbt.io as a default. This also happens inside email messages, automation messages, SMS. If you want to use your own, that's exactly what that serves. So all I have to do is go to my white label, turn it on, properly configure the setup, and now the links will be replaced completely by my own white label links. Google.com. So now you see I have lead buffer instead of having vbt.io. So this is it. You can brand your entire system as your own even with the logins. If you have any questions, please reach out to support. I know some of this stuff are a little bit techy, uh, but it doesn't take much to get it up and running and reap the benefits of a full white label solution.